Hi everyone. We're gonna to start today by making a room in two point perspective. First thing we wanna establish is our eye line or our eye level. Um, we sometimes also call this the horizon line. Somewhere near the top of your page, I want you to draw a horizontal line. This is gonna represent our eye level or our horizon line. And on the end of each of that line, please place an X. Okay. Now, somewhere near the center, do about a two inch line, maybe a little bit more. That's going to eventually represent the corner of our room. From here, I'm gonna place two dots. These will tell me that I will need to connect these lines to my vanishing point, VP1 and VP2. I find it helpful to label all these things. Now, I'm going to line my ruler up through my dot to VP2 and connect it via orthogonal or converging lines on the left side. Now, I am going to line it up, but I am not going to draw the line the whole way. I'm going to repeat that process with my lower dot to represent my lower wall. Okay. Now, Repeat that process on the other side. Line it up through the vanishing point. Draw the upper and lower angles to your object. Again, remember, you don't need to draw the whole line. It's there to help you. Now, in two-point perspective, the challenging thing to remember is that you are always going to be looking at the corner of an object. So say, for example, you're drawing a bed. Down here, in this lower half, beds usually are on the ground. We're going to draw a vertical line to represent the shape of our bed. When I draw that line, again, I put a little dot to tell me that's going to need to connect to my vanishing point. And I'm going to connect that towards the wall all the way here to the left. Now, when I hit the wall, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do the same thing for the upper dot, connect it to the wall, and I'm going to go almost as far. When I hit that line, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to draw another vertical. From here, I'm going to connect to the vanishing point on the right side using orthogonal lines. This one's not going to go quite as far, I'm going to estimate where it's going to hit the wall. I can always adjust, need be, until I hit that bottom line. And then I'm going to draw, end it with a vertical. Now we're almost there. Our next step is one of the trickiest parts. We're going to go ahead and add this corner here to the vanishing point. And it's a good time to remind everyone that you want to work lightly. Okay, you may need to erase, and if you do, that is okay. I'm also going to connect this angle to the vanishing point, like so. Now, this crisscross that I've made, we can erase the orthogonals that we no longer need, and our bed is starting to come together. From here, let's think about adding some things like doors, windows, picture frames, televisions, any of those things that we might want to add. What we're going to do first is we are going to now draw a vertical line over here on the left side. It should go above our horizon line because doors are pretty tall, usually in rooms. Okay. And we are going to connect it with an orthogonal line to our vanishing point number two. But we're not going to go that far. Maybe about an inch, inch and a half. We'll drop down a vertical line from there to represent the side of our door. From here, we could add something like a doorknob if we want. If we want to get really fancy, we could draw it hallway 
going back into space. Or, like in the illustration that accompanies this video, instead, you could do two orthogonal lines to show it like the door is going in. From there, now you can add the handle. Now you can open your door. Lastly, we're gonna talk about how to add a picture on the wall. It's gonna be very similar to the door. We're gonna do a vertical line, okay? This time it can stretch above and below the eye level. We can connect to our vanishing points, figuring out the distance of the object that we wanna do. Connect here as well. Made a little mistake, so I'm gonna erase it. And I'm gonna draw the back of my shape. Erase any extra lines that I don't need. I can get rid of these eye lines. And voila, you have the basics of a picture frame. You could go ahead and add, make this into a TV. You could make it into a picture. It could be a window. Lots of possibilities from here. You could go ahead, if you want, and add extra details to your bed. Maybe you have a headboard that would be connected in perspective, just like everything else. Okay. You could give your bed legs so it sits off the ground. Lots of possibilities. Have happy designing. And remember, make sure you're connected to both vanishing points. Bye.